Hello everyone, I'm Heba Hassan from GFX Academy. Today we'll start our Nuke and Maya tips and tricks. And we will start with a very big deal, a big problem that most of uh, compositors and VFX artists face. Especially those who are dealing with models and um, very complicated scenes. Uh, the complicated scenes uh, especially with animation is very uh, really facing us uh, silly step when uh, going to post-production because you have to render every step you are animation you are animating in your 3d software in order to pre be prepared for your next step in post-production today we will uh, try to fix this problem try to uh, save much time when dealing with uh, some animation uh, very simple animation in uh, our scenes in this scene here I have a car very simple car that have a very small animation like we see here okay suppose it's a player suppose it's a character uh, any any uh, model that have certain animation Okay, and I want this animated character or animated model to be uh, exported to Nuke in order to complete my uh, my scene, my composite, and start to to add the focus, to add fox, to add decomposing, whatever I want. So how to do that? Whatever uh, software I'm working on, which is Maya or Cinema 4D or AV Max. How to do that? Well, it's very very simple. But first, if your model is complicated in texture, it will be better that you have to to finish your UV at your 3D software. For example, here in Maya, I have finished already my UV, and I'm selecting all the component of my model here. I have already uh, finished all the V and finished the uh, a very simple texture to my my model in order just to to be uh, uh, to to clarify my idea here. So I have my model, I have my floor, I have my camera. Okay, when you see the camera, you have a very small animation as we see here so I want to export all of this scene to Nuke so very simple just select the car the floor and the camera and go to cache Olympic cache and then export selection to Olympic but suppose that you open cache and you don't find Olympic cache how to open it just go to Windows setting references and go to the plugins here and make sure that you have select the APC export that one will open that option at the same option here at uh, Maya 2040 and 2050 so I have here chosen this option and now I can go very easily to Olympic cache export selection to Alembic and then just write the name for example test and say export selection for me I have already done this it will just go to your timeline and that's it whatever what if you are working on for example cinema for you well if you are working on Cinema 4D, it's very very simple, no problem. Just go to Cinema 4D and also select your car, your floor, and go to File, Export, Alembic. You'll find it by default. By the way, I'm using here Cinema 4D 16 or 16, okay? So you'll find it here at the uh, Export Selection, Export. Uh, options and just write the name and that's it but at max I think 
it will have to uh, look for the plugin for a lambic file. So that plugin here with a crat uh, company, I think. Uh, just write your name, it will send it to your mail. Uh, I think the demo file, okay. But you can find it in certain uh, websites that uh, could be um, could available to this plugin for free for some sites for some people. Okay, now you have finished already your Olympic file from any 3D software that you are uh, using. Okay, and you want to go to Nuke in order to uh, start importing that. How to do that? Very, very simple. Just open Nuke, Nuke uh, of course, Nuke X, and just write read GU right there. Okay, in order to import geometries here. And in the file, just click at the options and choose Car ABC. When you open Car ABC, you will find here a new window. This new window will have all the options that you have selected before. The camera, the car, and the floor. You'll find all of them at one group. So you can say, create all in one node. When you click that, you will find here a camera, okay, with certain animation, if it has animation, and a car or your model, uh, all your models in one node. If you want to see that, just go to your viewer, see, now you have your model right there. Very nice, see, with the animation here. Okay, and here is your camera. Okay, uh, my camera here, I didn't make any animation to the camera, I just animate my model, that's all. Now I want to give a texture to my model, to the floor, and to the car, but I have a problem here. The problem is that I can't select the floor alone or the car alone. I have the two of them as one object. So, how to separate them? Very simple. Delete that. And just go again to read geo. And choose it once more. But this time, unselect this option here. In order not to get any other models right there. And just separate them. Choose the car as a group. Choose the floor as a group. So, how to make a group? Just select your car or your layer and just get that dot. And the floor and get that dot. So, I have here two dots or two groups. I don't want the camera because I have already imported my camera over right there. So, I have here two groups or two nodes. So I don't want to create all in one node, but I want to create them as separated nodes. So I click at that option here and voila, I have here two options. So where are they? Very simple, just double click. Yeah, that's the car. So let's rename it to see a car and this is the floor. Let's rename it to make it floor. Nice. But I don't see anything. Just collect all of them using the scene. Okay, so I have here my car and my floor. My floor. Yes, nice. Okay, and let's collect all of them here with the scan line vendor I need a camera I need a scene and let's see all of this yes very nice 
What if I want to test that using a simple checkerboard right here, like that, and the floor like that, in order just to be able to see that at the 2D system. See? Now I can see my core and my floor and the core animating very very nice as if I was in Admire or Cinema 4D or Max. But I want my texture that I've already built it out there. So let's delete the checkerboard. Okay. And now I get my images right here. Just take this one and take that one. Okay. Let's give the car this texture. And let's give the rude that one. Nice. Bit much better. But what if I want to see that much better? Okay. If you want to see it much better, just go to your light. Let's add a light. Let's add, add a directional light. Okay. Here is my directional. And let's go over there. The most beautiful thing here is when you go to 3D system, you can e very, very easy go to your light. Go away here. And just select it and give it back of course it's black because i have a light and it's supposed that only the light that will give me a texture so i don't see anything without that light but this light is not affecting because it's very small and my scene needs more intensity so let's give it more intensity see now i see something so let's give it much more and let's get it up let's go there 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 where's the car okay let's add it much more to be 100 why don't see the car much better let's go down okay i think that i need another light Control C, Control V, and let's rotate the light like this. See, I have a friction here, so let's take that light out. Let's take it down, back. See, nice. So in order to see that much better, let's go to my 2D system. See? Now I see something. That's very, very nice. Now I can go here to my light. Just make it a little bit. Yeah. Nice. So see the difference here? When I unselect this, deselect the lights and see the difference so now i can add anything i want i can add rains i can add my uh, environment i can add focus and i can add shadow whatever i want i can do that very 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 easy so as you see here using olympic files olympic uh, ways here it will really save much more time using your uh, traditional ways but what if you are using the ray technique the ray render of course i have here the ray plugin for nuke but for sure it's very expensive so i don't have it right now but we have retrace render retrace render it can separate every uh, render here and can add certain renders like ambient occlusion like reflection whatever uh, renders you want and we will see that separately and in details uh, later on in another video but at this time at this point i hope you really 
like this way, like the Alembic file, like the Alembic way, uh, in order to transfer animations from one software to another. Any 3D software interlude to complete your work and start your composting, finishing your post production. Hope you like it.